Jeremy Foster, you broke my prize. You broke Trevor Eon's prize with your stupid face. But on June 13th, I'm going to ascend not just a ladder, but I'm going to ascend far beyond my own creative abilities. Did you think that, did you think that I just had Rachel hand me a ladder for no reason? I knew what Jeremy Foster would do. I knew what the Anarchy officials would do. But what they don't understand is that I am in control. What I say and do drives the world forward. I am the genius force of a generation. And on June 13th, I will finish the painting that I was making with Jeremy Foster. I'm changing you, Foster. You don't come out and take those moronic little selfies with the audience. You, you were vicious and unrelenting the last time we faced each other. I'm making you a monster like me. And those people are too blind by bias to see it. But unfortunately for you, your sheep are leading their shepherd to the slaughter. On June 13th, prepare for a level of depravity like you've never seen before. But ask yourself, are you really, are you really ready to see that? Ask yourself, how far am I really willing to go? And do you want to know the answer to that question? On June 13th, I'm going to climb that ladder and I'm going to retrieve my championship and then look out over Cornelia, Georgia and scream at the top of my lungs! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway, and you will notice that there is no referee inside the ring. We have two officials out on the floor as Jeremy Foster battles the Young Lions champion, the violence artist Trevor Aon, and hanging high above the ring is the Anarchy Wrestling Young Lions Championship. And the former champion, the man that lost that championship back at Hardcore Hell, taking on the man that won it from him, Trevor Aon, the current champion, Jeremy Foster, the former champion, and both men going out of here in the center of the ring. Both these men have been chasing each other around for the past several months here in Anarchy. And right now, rolling around now, you know, the thing is, you're not going to be able to go just for that you know, Young Lions Championship. You're going to want to wear your man down, which right now, that's what Trevor Aon is attempting to do to Jeremy Foster. Yeah, the, the opponent has to be weakened enough for you to be able to climb the ladder. Well, one, to retrieve the ladder and bring it into the ring, and then climb the ladder. And right now, both these men outside the ring, D. Byers over there, checking in. The thing is, all this is perfectly legal, no count outs. The only way this match can end, like you said, is when one of these two men grab that Anarchy Young Lions Championship, hold it above their head as the champion. And now Foster taking it to Trevor Aon. Getting a little bit close to us over here. And right now, Young Lions Championship underway. Very little action has taken place inside the ring. You can see here. Sorry about that. I think a mosquito just flew up my nose. Oh, that's those. Uh, that's those Georgia summers for you. Oh wait a minute. Now Jeremy Foster 
is the first one to grab the ladder. He's got Trevor A on down. This is the perfect opportunity to get in there and set that ladder up. Maybe not as incapacitated as he'd like his man to be. Oh, wait a minute, though. Maybe a little damage done to that ladder. I was to say, I think that ladder's seen better days. And right now, Trevor Aeon, he's close, but it's, I would be a little nervous about stepping up there. And, oh, no! Well, we've lost one ladder. Well, one down, one to go. Do we have a backup in case this other one? I, I have no clue. I mean, I don't know if you can get to the, the top turnbuckle and jump at the... You know, I, I wouldn't put anything past Trevor Aon. I mean, we've seen Trevor Aon hanging from the, the rafters here before, so we, we don't know much what this guy can do. How does he get up to these rafters? How does he get up to where he's perched up when we see him? Oh, wait a minute. Now Trevor Aon. This one looks a little bit sturdier. A little bit more sturdy. I think that was the one they actually used to hang the title during the commercial break. Okay. Yeah, indeed, you are right. I remember that one. Oh, throttle into the gut. Yeah, Foster just got introduced personally to it. You may not. Oh, I'm just driving that ladder across the back. Now, you may not want to damage that ladder. Maybe your only means of... Uh, Climbing towards that title. All the hardware here at the Anarchy Arena being brought into the ring. Our poor cameraman even tangled up in the messed up ladder outside the ring here. Ladder matches have certainly been unpredictable over the years. You know, I, I remember a television championship ladder match where the action in the ring caused the title to tumble. We had a restart in the middle of a match. We have, in fact, you know, oh, wait a minute. What is Miss Rachel doing out here? She must have taken a trip down to Home Depot. She brought in another ladder. I don't know what this is setting up for, but it may not be pretty. As I was just getting ready to say, I can remember back in 2010, or sorry, 2011, being a part of a ladder match for the Young Lions Championship that Aiden Chambers won, a former Young Lions champion back in 2011 in a Young Lions. That was a Young Lions ladder scramble match. And right now Trevor Aon oh, sacrificing his own body and he's smiling about it. The violence artist as he likes to call himself. That was pretty violent in and itself. And right now, setting that ladder up, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Well, Trevor Aon has a little bit of height to him. He may be able to get up and get that championship. And walk out of here, the Anarchy Young Lions champion still. His back is bothering him from that last shot. Foster looks up, realizes that within reach of the violence artist, Referee D. Byers looking on from one side. Outside of our camera view is referee Ken Walrus. Uh, head goes banging against the top of that ladder. Oh, wait a minute. What's Jeremy Foster trying to do? I think he's going to try a sunset foot. Power bomb! Oh! And just took Trevor Aon down. For over 10 years, there's been one place to catch all the best wrestling action in North Georgia, and that has been at the Anarchy Arena in Cornelia, Georgia, on the corner of Duncan Bridge and Level Grove Road. Make sure you're there the second and fourth Saturday night of every month, and now with shows on the fifth Saturday nights, you'll see such stars as B.J. Hancock, the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion Jagged Edge, the Priest of Punishment Michael Judas, and many, many more. For your tickets, you can call 770-601-3676. That's 770-601-3676 to reserve your seats. Anarchy Wrestling, 
This is professional wrestling, and this is the place to be. Going over there to check on the Young Lions champion is referee Ken Walrus. Now, as with any other matchup, referees do have a discretion to stop this matchup. However, there would still have to be a winner. At that point, you would think it would just be a race to get the championship, or if one man's incapacitated, the other man would have an easy shot at getting the title off the ladder. And that's that often forgotten rule to stop a match, the referee's discretion pending injury, but it does happen. And that's why we tell you fans at home, you know, enjoy the matches that you're watching, but please don't try this at home. Even the most trained professionals can and do get hurt. Yeah, you know, if you're playing the gutters at home and you're on that 20-foot ladder, don't take the uh, opportunity just to jump down the family dog or your wife. Now, your mother-in-law, that's a different story. Yeah, She's fair game, but right there. As, as Jim Ross said, you know, how do you learn how to fall off a 20-foot ladder? Yes. You but, don't, you just do it. <laughs> and Trevor Aon, just with that spike DDT, on Jeremy Foster. I've said this time and time again, I've said in many forums, that DDT from Trevor Aon is just about as deadly as any I've ever seen. You know, a lot of people have said that, you know, Jake the Snake Roberts was the father of the DDT. And driving this ladder into the ribs, you know, other men that we've seen with great DDTs over the years, Michael P.S. Hayes, a lot of legends, and Trevor Aon, I mean, he just he channels that energy, and you can see that every DDT that he does. You know, the last couple of weeks we were talking about the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, who just passed away. His, back in the day, referred to as the reverse bulldog. Exactly. So, you know, I mean, you take a look at it, but I mean, it's, you know, you think about it, and I definitely, you know, the, the men that we've seen use that maneuver over the years, Trevor Aon definitely the top five for me, as far as effectiveness goes. And right now, driving the knee into the back of ribs of uh, Jeremy Foster. But you gotta see every motion, every motion that Trevor Aon's playing, it's, it's putting him pain, but look at the smile, look at the laughter. And this right here, this is gonna get under his skin. We've heard him before, he has a problem with heroes, as he calls them, the people's heroes. the ladder being used as a weapon or potentially as a weapon we haven't seen a lot of offense from Foster in the last few minutes even movement from Foster you know I had a chance to speak to Jeremy Foster oh wait a minute Jeremy Foster pushed the ladder that time causing that impact to be greater into the back of Trevor Aon and now has an opportunity to make a comeback in this matchup I was going to say, you know, I spoke to uh, Jeremy Foster earlier in the week. You know, and, and I brought up a very interesting question. One thing I've noticed that he has not done in quite some time are the selfies. You know, going around, taking the pictures with the fans. But I've also noticed that since he's done that, he hasn't been quite as successful in the ring as he once was. And it's I, taken away a little bit of the confidence? I think it's not maybe not the confidence. Oh, that knee! That'll get you your mojo right back. I think maybe it's not so much as taken away from the confidence. I think maybe it's taken away a little bit of the mind games that's played with his opponents. You think about it. I mean, the guy's so confident. He comes out here, he's taking pictures of himself, taking pictures with the fans before an important matchup. But all of a sudden, all that's gone. The Young Lions Championship's gone, and we've seen him not be as successful in these matches as he once was. And just to finish up the point, Jeremy Foster really had no answer for me. He just said that, you know, he's prepared for this matchup and he's going to do what it takes to win that Young Lions championship once again. Well, this could very well take him to the title. That ladder, as you can see, is practically touching the television championship. And now, he's there. He's within an arm's reach. Oh, wait a minute. His knee gave out. Now that's the dangers you have whenever you take that knee pad off and you go bone to bone. You have the dangers of hurting yourself just as much, but Trevor Eon back up now. And oh! 
Oh, and jams the knee, but it also stops the progress of one, uh, Jeremy Foster. As challenger and champion tumbling one another, neither really with the advantage, just shots fired back and forth. Ducks a clothesline, ducks a forearm, forearm strike, I think they may have hit each other. And both men go down. This could be the moment that either man is looking for. Jeremy Foster. Down, but look at Trevor Aon. Trevor Aon finds himself. Well, he scooted past the ladder. Both men are actually moving away from the ladder, which is the complete opposite of what they should be doing in this matchup. I mean, that ladder, the perfect object to help yourself back up to a standing position and get you step-by-step step closer to the Young Lions Championship. This building has seen many a great ladder match, both in the Young Lions division, as you mentioned earlier, the Television uh, Championship division, the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship, decided at Hardcore Hell 2006. Michael Judas took on Chad Parham in a ladder match for the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship. And of course, many of the great tag team battles we've seen over the 10 years here in Anarchy. They're up, they're right there at the level of the championship. In fact, they have to swing around the title to hit at each other. And Jeremy Foster is actually in the best position. Well, now he turns that belt around. And he's digging his face into that top of that ladder. Smart positioning there. Wait a minute, has his hands on it. Oh, wait a minute. Hands in the eyes, Foster goes down. Foster's down, but look at Trevor Aon. He was there, gained his footing back. Wait, Foster's got the leg. What is he? He's trapping him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he trapped him. His foot's hooked. Foster's right up there. He's got it! 